Hello everyone, this is Adrian at First Thinkers. This is a tutorial on how to get your Math Explorer shared to your students on Google Classroom. So the first thing you gotta do is you need to download the folder from Teachers Pay Teachers. And within the product folder, you will have a file called Google Drive Product Key or link, sorry. Now on there, you click on that and you go in and you click on the link and it will make your own copy of the product. So that's what I've done here. I have a copy of it right here. And so on this, what you need to do is you need to make sure you share it. You need to change the, the, lot, the permissions on it, okay? So what you do is you right click on the, on the product, you click on share, then you go down here and you click on the bottom right, advanced. On this part where it says private, you need to change it. And you either do it to your domain, your domain, uh, your district's domain, if you're gonna do it with your students, this one is if you have maybe students that use a personal home account, Google account rather than the district one. I will do it on this one because it's uh, it's more secure. Okay, so I'm gonna click on now. I want it only with a link, okay? Because I wouldn't want someone to be able to access this just browsing around Google Drive. That'd be kind of weird. So make it with a link within your district. Okay, I'm gonna click save. Great, now I'm gonna click done. So now that I have that sh uh, shared, I'm gonna now go to my Google Classroom. So here's my Google Classroom. So I'm going to go to Classwork. And now I wanna click on Create. And I'm gonna create an assignment. Okay, got it. Now you're gonna give it a title. I'm just gonna type a little bit because my keyboard makes noise on my mic. All right, so there we go, there's my title. I'm gonna click on Add. And I'm gonna do it from Google Drive. Now, right away, instantly the folder that I, the file that I wanted came up right here. So I'm going to double click that. Now, this is really important what this is actually saying here. Now, you can have it where students can just view the file, they can edit the file, or they can make a copy. Now, with this product, this is one where they actually don't edit the file at all. If they just do it like in a presentation mode. You, I would prefer to, personally, I've done it with my students. I did not like having a, a copy made for my students doing it through Google Classroom because it made them have to click on a lot more links and my students got confused. If you just do it where the, uh, the students can only view it, it makes it much more simple for them. And I have first graders and so whatever makes it more simple is awesome. So for this product, since it's uh, there's no movable pieces, I will just do it as view the file. You can decide how many points, uh, that doesn't, I don't know how that would work with this. So I'm just gonna do that. You can create topics. So maybe like, I like with my Google Classroom having it where each day um, has assignments. So like today is April 4th, so I'm gonna put April 4th. That's a Saturday, so Saturday, April 4th. I like doing that, it makes it a lot more organized for my classroom. Um, so there's that, all students are graded. All right, so once you're done with that, go ahead and click and assign. And now it is assigned for my Google Classroom, okay? So it's under Saturday, April 4th, and students will click on it. And all they gotta do now is just click on the slides. And there it is for them. If you guys have any more questions at all on how to get this product or any other of my products onto your Google Classroom or Seesaw, just let me know. My name is Adrian. Thank you for checking out my tutorial.